okay in this video we will discuss uh, about the polynomial interpolation so in last few videos we we, we have discussed uh, how we can do the polynomial interpolation uh, in that case we have to construct the matrices x y and coefficient matrices so with available data points we have to construct the matrix for the desired polynomial order and uh, then we have to find out the coefficient matrix and once you know the coefficients then we can calculate any y value in that particular uh, polynomial interpolation okay but it is not necessary that we have to calculate all those uh, matrices and matrix algebra by using numpy but in numpy we have some uh, one another function uh, which it may not give you uh, the direct interpolation curve but we, we can use that function to uh, to find out uh, the polynomial coefficient then we can use that uh, poly polynomial coefficients to have this polynomial interpolation so that we will discuss today but uh, uh, what we what it means is that we can have the polynomial interpolation by using a python function okay so before we will go to that we have to discuss one point here if you are having an unknown nth order uh, polynomial uh, sorry if you are having n number of data points if you are having n number of data points then the maximum order of your polynomial will be n minus 1 so the highest order will be uh, or highest degree of your polynomial should be n minus 1 that you can use in your polynomial interpolation and you can use any other uh, polynomial with uh, other orders which is less than this n minus 1 so if you are having n minus 1 n data points then you can use polynomial of n minus 1 maximum order of polynomial should be n minus 1 and if you are having n data points then you can have uh, the same number of uh, coefficients which means that if you are having n data points you will be having n number of coefficients for quadratic for example if you are considering quadratic or cubic polynomial if you are using cubic polynomial then we need uh, at least uh, four data points and your order of polynomial is three or degree uh, highest degree of your independent variable highest power of your independent variable which is uh, uh, three for cubic case and we will be having uh, four coefficients to find out or four coefficients in your uh, cubic polynomial that is a0 a1 a2 and a3 so similarly if you are having n data points you will be having n number of coefficients now we will check what is the program uh, in this program we can we have to first uh, have uh, this import function import uh, import numpy and uh, as np and import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and first one is for numerical calculation that is numerical python and second one is for plotting and uh, we will uh, define this x and y variable as arrays and these are the data points which is which is available to us that is x uh, x values are 1 2 3 4 5 and y values are 2 6 5 5 and 6 and that uh, we defined as arrays then we will go to the polynomial coefficient so in order to get the polynomial coefficient we have to use the uh, numpy function uh, polyfit np dot polyfit and in bracket we have x comma y comma length of x uh, minus 1 so what it uh, what it means that syntax that is first one is x x is nothing but your data points x that we defined as array and y is your data points y uh, that is also we defined earlier as array and the third one is the degree of your polynomial that you want to what that you have to use in your polynomial interpolation so that degree is uh, in here we have used length of x minus 1 in length of x minus 1 means that what is the length of the array x that is uh, in this case it is 5 and minus 1 that is 4 so that is the maximum uh, the highest order polynomial that you can use that is nothing but 5 minus 4 uh, 1 is 4 okay that is the highest order so that's why we have put ln ln of x minus 1 so the that is the third one is nothing but your uh, degree of polynomial so if you use this np dot polyfit function then it will directly give you 
the coefficients correspond to that particular uh, polynomial and it will be stored uh, in uh, in array or if it is a uh, more number of coefficients it will be stored in arrays like a0 uh, a1 etc okay that will be stored and that array is uh, we have given the the variable name uh, array name as poly coif okay then we again uh, define another variable x variable that x variable equal to lin space np dot lin space maximum of x comma minimum of x it is nothing but uh, the lin spacing we, uh, we you already think you already know this lin space will divide your uh, uh, the range of these values into uh, number of values with eq spaced okay so if you are ha in this case we are having x from 1 to 5 so it will divide these uh, values from 1 to 5 equally uh, default 50 numbers okay so first one one then we we'll have within that range 1 to 5 we will be having 50 uh, equally spaced numbers uh, then if you, if you want some uh, higher numbers for example 1 to 5 i need uh, 100 numbers then you have to give maximum x comma minimum x comma num num equal to 100 okay that is also possible here we are using some uh, the default case and we will get 50 uh, equally spaced numbers between 1 and 5 okay that is the default value and then we will go to the next uh, uh, instruction in next instruction we have y variable equal to np dot poly value uh, of poly coefficient and comma so this polynomial uh, value poly value uh, function poly value function gives what it gives uh, it is like this so it is it is going to use your polynomial coefficient that you have already uh, got by using the polyfit np dot polyfit function and that polynomial coefficient will be used by this polyval uh, function and p dot polyval function and then it will be using that polynomial coefficient uh, and the variable x uh, here we have given x variable this is nothing but this one okay so it will be uh, calculating the all values uh, of the polynomial at different values of x and it will be stored in uh, uh, y variable okay that is the function so it will use the polynomial coefficient that is calculated by using polyfit function and it will calculate all the uh, y value or the polynomial value correspond to each the x variable okay uh, that is the poly value function will do and we have uh, this kind of polynomial where we have a0 x raised to n minus 1 uh, and plus a1 x raised to n minus x etc up to a so these are the coefficients which we find uh, by using polyfit function okay and it will be multiplied with uh, uh, the x value that you have given here with the the uh, power n minus 1 and n minus 2 etc so that is what uh, the the poly value function will do mm. and uh, here n is nothing but the number of uh, coefficient okay so it will take uh, it is up to n minus 1 means that you, you are starting from a of 0 so it will be up to uh, n minus 1 here so there will be total of uh, uh, n number of coefficient and you will, your polynomial will be like this and after we have to plot this we have used a plt dot plot x variable y variable so this in this section we are plotting variable x variable this two one this variable and y variable using uh, by red color and line so r and line which is nothing but uh, red and linear line we had to use then we we have considered x and y we plotted x and y uh, x versus y with uh, b o b o means nothing but blue color and circle so it is blue, blue color and uh, circle okay like this and we can see that from uh, from the figure uh, blue color and circle is corresponding to each data points okay this one are data points and then we have red color line which is for x variable to y variable and we have x variable up to 50 values so that's why it is continuous line and uh, it is red color and line